वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सम वेरी एसेंशियल की पॉइंट्स रिगार्डिंग टाई सेट मैट्रिक्स एंड कट सेट मैट्रिक्स बट दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल सो फर्स्ट आई एल कैलकुलेट टाई सेट मैट्रिक्स एंड कट सेट मैट्रिक्स बेस्ड ऑन गिवन प्रॉब्लम एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू दो की पॉइंट्स which are the regarding tie set matrix and cut set matrix so let us see the question over here so here question is to consider tree with branches a b c and find tie set and cut set matrix for given graph so here we are having one interesting graph you can see in which we are deal with to consider tree with branches a b c so here you see this graph is having four nodes so total branch with tree that should be 4 minus 1 that should be 3 so here we are given with tree with three branches a b c so let me draw that first so you can observe what i have done is i have connected branch a b c with this given graph and this is what tree of this graph and when you say you are having one tree of the graph then the branches of that tree those are referred as twig so here with this tree twigs are a b and c now the branches which are not connected with this tree those will be linked and as per the standard process i should be drawing that by dashed line so for this graph the lines which are not connected in tree those are link and here d e f that is a link of this graph now once you have this tree diagram of this given graph we can form tie set matrix and cut set matrix so let us form tie set matrix by using this diagram which is there in form of tree now when you want to make tie set matrix first of all you will have to identify fundamental loops or you can say tie set loops so tie set loops are having one link and rest twig so here you see if you observe this graph in that if you consider this as one loop in that case it will be having d link and ab twig so you can observe here this loop number 1 that is having d as a one link and ab r twig let me mention that over here so you see this d that is link of this loop and the rest are twig now see we need to see another loop in which we should be having one link and the rest twig so if you observe this link e so that is forming loop over here you can observe and this is what a loop which is having one link and two twigs so link is e and twigs are c and b so here with this loop l2 we are having one link that is e and cb those are two twig so you should know the basic definition loops should have one link and the rest twig right now my dear students we need to see another link which is f and if you see this outer loop so that is having one link and the rest twig so this outer loop that is my loop 3 in which you will be having one link that is f and the rest twigs are a and c so now we have fundamental loops now based on this fundamental loops we can be able to form tie set matrix so to form tie set matrix my dear students you should know that vertically we should be writing tie set loops so here we are having three loops so i'm writing l1 l2 l3 and horizontally we should be writing branches four tie set matrix and here you can see there are six branches i am mentioning that over here a 
B, C, D, E and F. Now my dear students, here you will have to identify the coefficients as per connection of loop. So you see here loop 1 is there which is L1 and you see in this loop direction should be there in the direction of link right and in this loop you see this D is there in the direction of L1 so I am writing 1 over here this A that is also there in the direction of L1 so I am writing 1 over here and this B that is also there in the direction of loop so I am writing 1 with B and C E F are not connected so I am writing 0 with that. Now let us see what is happening with loop L2. So you can observe this loop L2 that is there in the direction of link E. So E is having plus 1 and you see this loop is there in the direction of link C. So C will be having plus 1 and you see in this loop 2 this B is also there in the direction of loop. So B will be having plus 1 over here and A D F are not connected with loop L2 so those will be 0. Now let us see what is happening with loop L3. So outer loop you see in that direction is there in the direction of link F. So F is having 1 and then you see in this loop direction of C is there in the direction of loop. So C is having plus 1 and you see this outer loop that is there in opposite direction to the direction of A. So you can say A is having minus 1 and the rest are 0 as it is not connected with this loop L3. So if it is there in the direction then you should write plus 1 and if it is there in the opposite direction then you should write minus 1. So this is my tie set matrix that you can say. Now my dear students for same graph I will be explaining you what is cut set. After that we will discuss key points of it. Now my dear students when you want to provide cut set then you should know how to provide fundamental cut set. So when you see fundamental cut set in that you will have to provide cut set with one twig and the rest link. So if you see node 1 in that we are having twig A and if you provide cut set like this then it will be having link F and D. So this is my cut set 1. So you should know the basic definition. In cut set it should have one twig and the rest link. So with twig A you see I am providing cut set C1. So cut set C1 is having A, D, F and in that you can say A is twig over here and D and F those are link. Now let us see what is happening with cut set over here with twig B. So if you provide cut set over here, so in that you see it will be having one twig B and links are D and E. So with this cut set we are having one twig that is B and links are D and E. Now you see here we can provide cut set that is cut set C3 in which we are having one twig that is C and links are E and F. So this is the basic standard process of providing cut set. Now with this tree all three twig is having one cut set which we have already plotted over here. Right. Now my dear students we need to form cut set matrix based on this cut set. So vertically we should be writing cut set. So we are having three cut set those are C1, C2, C3 and horizontally we should be writing branches. So here in this graph we are having total six branches A, B, C, D, E and F. Now to write coefficients over here you should know the direction of cut set. So my dear students direction of cut set that should be there in the direction of twig. So with this C1 twig is A so direction is there in outward direction you see over here. So direction of cut set that is there in the direction of twig. You see with C2 
twig is B which is going inside the cut set. So, direction of cut set will be inside as I am showing it to you over here. You see with cut set C3, twig is C which is coming out of the cut set. So, direction of cut set will be like this which is outward as you can see it over here. So, that is how direction is very essential. Now, my dear students, you should know how to write coefficients over here. So, with respect to cut set, we need to write coefficient of branches. So, let us see what is happening with C1. So, as if you see C1, so in C1, direction of A is there in the direction of cut set. So, A is having plus 1 and D is going inside the C1. So, D is having minus 1 and F is there in the direction of cut set. So, F is having plus 1 and the rest are not connected. So, I can say those are 0. Now, let us see what is happening with C2. So, you can observe with C2, this B is going in the direction of cut set. So, B is having plus 1 and you see this D that is there in opposite direction to the direction of C2. So, you can say D is having minus 1 and this E that is also opposite to the direction of C2. So, E is also having minus 1 and others are not connected with this C2. So, those are 0. Now, let us see what is happening with C3. So, in C3, this C is there in the direction of this cut set. So, C is having plus 1 and you can observe E is there in opposite direction to the direction of cut set. So, E will be minus 1 and you see this F that is also there in opposite direction to the direction of cut set C3. So, F is also minus 1 and A, B and D are not connected with C3. So, those are 0. So, my dear students, now we have formed cut set matrix for this given graph as per the tree which is given to you. Now, let me take both of this matrix to show you that comparison. So, my dear students, we have derived both of these matrix, tie set matrix and cut set matrix. Now, if you observe in this matrix, I have already explained that A, B, C are twig. So, you can say here A, B, C, these are twig and obviously D, E, F, those will be link. Now, if you observe here, we have formed equation in sequence for given tree in which if you observe link is there in sequence and as link is there in sequence, if you observe this tie set matrix that is also denoted by matrix B. So, if you see the part of link, then that will be identity matrix. You see this link part that is identity matrix and if you observe cut set matrix in that you see A, B, C that is there as twig and it is there in sequence. So, you can have this cut set matrix that is also referred as matrix C. So, that matrix C with part of twig is identity matrix you can observe. So, when you have twig and link in sequence at that time you can have identity matrix as per the explanation which I have given you. Now, what about the part which is there with twig in tie set matrix? So, there are some coefficients that you can observe. Now, how relation of this coefficient is there with this coefficients? So, for that, let me write first. If you observe matrix B that is tie set matrix, in that if you talk about twig, then if you observe negative of transpose of this, that is a part of link which is there with cut set matrix. Let me write that first minus of C link transpose. So, you see here we are having this part which is B twig. Now, if you have transpose of this and multiply minus with that, then you will be having this part. You can observe this is row 1, 1, 0. So, here it should be 1, 1, 0 column wise and you will have to multiply minus. Here we have multiplied minus you see. So, 1, 1, 0 
so 1 1 0 multiply by minus so that will be minus 1 minus 1 0 now you see 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 with minus now you see minus 1 0 1 so 1 0 minus 1 as you multiply minus over here so you can say b tweak that is equals to minus of c link transpose and same thing that will happen in opposite side so if you have c link in that case you can have minus of b twin transpose so that is how we can identify relation so these are the key essential points that you should note down that is very essential sometimes directly we can identify the values sometimes you may not need to calculate the values based on matrix directly we can identify tie set matrix from cut set matrix and cut set matrix from tie set matrix that's why i have explained it over here in next video i'll be going to explain you how we can form kvl and kcl equations and that example will cover everything regarding graph theory so stay tuned with this channel thank you so much for watching this video